Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I run and organize my custom art commissions as a full time artist for free. So I use four main websites when it comes to organizing, accepting and running my art commission list. All four websites I use for free. I don't pay any memberships for these four websites. And I'm going to show you how I do that now. The first website that I use is called Card. I'm sure you guys have heard of it if you're an artist. It's like a free website engine where you can make your own custom website. I think it looks very professional. If you're an artist, I think you should have some form of website where you can send all your clients to with information or just people interested in possibly becoming a client if they need information. Yeah, I'm going to show you mine. Um, I think it, I left mine pretty simple, but still like very professional and sleek looking. This is it where you can find my like digital art store through my Ko-Fi, my art commissions. You can find information on that here. I have my art portfolio, my custom brushes that I use. I do have a brush pack that you can download that I get asked about. So I have a button for that here. Um, I have like a little about me section, contact me in terms of service. I also occasionally work with like brands and companies for like making content about products and stuff like that. So I have like little sections that if those people need to reach out to me, they can find me on there. Today, we're just gonna be looking at the art commission section. So let's head on over there. If you click that button, it sends you to my commission info page. Here you can find all of the information that you may need for my commissions. Um, I have a picture with the commission process here, which I recommend any artist to have. It shows like full transparency to your clients, what your commission process looks like. I personally require payment up front for my commissions just to avoid any like hiccups or bumps in the road. So I accept payments up front before I send artwork. So that kind of is just transparent about that process. Um, and it's just a visual on how like step by step it works. But that's kind of just what the client can see and understand of how the process will look like. And then of course I have like prices for my commissions and add-ons. So people get an idea on how much like it's going to cost or what they're looking at if they do end up commissioning. From here, if you're interested in getting a commission, then you can press my little button request a commission. That will send you directly to my Google form where my clients can fill out a couple bits of personal information and questions that I may need before we get started with the commission. The thing I love about Google Forums is it's like one space where I can find like the immediate information I might need without having to correspond back and forth and ask a bunch of questions with the clients. So this sends me an email once they filled it out. Um, it shows me what they want, any add-ons that they're looking for, and then their ideas or requests for the commission. Um, and this just gives me an idea what the client might want before I get started with communication with them. Just so I have an idea on how big the commission might be or exactly what they're looking for. So we can just right off the bat start discussing ideas. So yeah, I love the form because it just saves a ton of time for both me and the client. And I think it's super helpful. Again, it's free. You just need to have a, a Google account to make one of these. Next, we're going to be talking about how I accept payment for commissions and how I do that for free and securely. So I accept payment through commissions through my Ko-Fi or my coffee, however you want to say it. This is also where I keep my digital store. So I have everything in one space. I have my like commission payments through here. I have my memberships through here. I have like a little membership tier for art stuff. And then I, of course, have my store, like I mentioned. How I accept payments in my commissions is right on the home page. There's like a support the Jade Plant button and however much the commission I've quoted, you can type in like a custom amount and it goes directly to like my PayPal or whatever site you have hooked up to your Ko-Fi to accept payments. I like to do it through my Ko-Fi because it's secure for both me and the client where we don't have to share unnecessary like banking information or personal info like that. And yeah, that is how I accept payments for my commissions. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how I organize my clients and commissions once I've already accepted them and once they've paid. How I keep everyone organized is through my Notion. Notion is of course free, which I really love. And this just allows me to keep organized on exactly what I'm working on, who I'm working on and what I've done all in the same space for my clients to look at as well. As you can see here, I have everyone laid out in what I'm working on at the time. So I have like what I've just accepted or in the process of accepting. Um, so this is like before payment. I've got sketching what I'm working on with the sketch with the clients. Um, we've got line art and coloring, rendering details, and then what I've like recently completed in the last couple weeks. 
And then just for my client's keepsake, because I do share this link if I have an open art commission with you, um, they can go and see exactly like what I've worked on this week or like in the last 24 hours. I really like doing this with Notion. It's super easy to move tabs over. Like it's, it's awesome to stay organized. It keeps me on track too. So I know exactly what I've worked on in that day and like what I haven't worked on in a day or two so I can make sure everyone gets worked on at the same time. As you can see, I do keep a lot of commissions open. I work on a lot of art pieces all at the same time. So this just helps me stay organized and productive. I also love it because I'm not talking to my open clients every single day. I'll give them updates like every like week or so, depending on how big the project is, because I'm not a robot and, and I do need time to draw and be creative and like work on their art piece. Um, so this kind of gives them an opportunity to see if I've worked on it without having to like email me every day to double check. This just keeps it open and transparent and so they can check in on what I've been doing. But yeah, that is how I organize my clients and my commissions. That is going to be the end of the video. If you have any further questions, comments, or concerns about whatever I talked about in today's video, feel free to comment them down below. I will try my best to answer you. Um, I am planning on making a separate video on how I made my card website and how I made my form and how I laid it out. And um, if you want one about the Notion as well or about my Ko-Fi store, I can answer any questions or make a separate video on how I did that as well. I have gotten a lot of um, comments and questions. I made a TikTok about how I set up my card, but I didn't make a full tutorial. So I'm planning on making one because it's a little bit complicated. Um, and I think a lot of people liked the simple layout I did. So I'm happy to show that in a proper sit down tutorial with you guys. And yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, if you liked it, feel free to drop a like or subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.